At the moment, there are two smartphone juggernauts on the market, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. But only one of these devices I feel is best suited for the business person. Don't go anywhere. We're going to find out exactly what I think and why. A little bit of back history. I historically have always used an iPhone for business. I liked the fluidity of it. I liked everything syncing up as far as my clients, customers, my iMessage on all of my devices, my pad, my MacBook, my computers, my phone. I just, I've always found it simple. I found it easier to stay in communication with everybody. And when I stop and think about it, what business tools does the iPhone bring to my life? And I started to think about this and I ended up putting my main SIM card into the iPhone 11 Pro Max because I bought it and I wanted to give it a fair shake before I brought my final thoughts to you guys. So I was left with a dilemma. You may have also noticed I typically wear two smartwatches. One for the iPhone and one for my Android device of choice, whichever that might be at the time. I know that's a little unusual and it's not something that everybody does, but I enjoy having constant communication, whether it's work or play or my personal time, if you will. So I had to stop and I had to think, which of these devices am I going to keep for business use and which of these devices am I going to keep for my personal use? What I found out is most of my friends all have iPhones. Only a few of my friends use Android phones. Now, is there a benefit to communicating with or sharing pictures or data between Android users? Is there a benefit between sharing pictures, data, or anything between iPhone users? And I had to start thinking about this. And is powerful as this device is right here, this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, as powerful as this device is, I've actually come to find out that this device is better suited for my business needs. One of the things I do a lot of in business is I evaluate and look at a lot of spreadsheets. I check out a lot of data. I sign a lot of contracts on the go. Typically, when I have to do that, I have to grab my computer, download the file, upload it to my signature program, sign it, export it, send it back to the person who sent it to me. With the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I don't have to do all that rigmarole. I can easily open up the file, write inside the file, save it, and then reattach it to the exact email I got it from. That kind of increases my productivity a little bit. Now that I'm using a Google phone, if you will, Android, with all of my Google services, because my company, I do use G Suite, which is the Google business version for small and larger size businesses, I found that the fluidity of it is absolutely amazing. A while back, Google announced they were getting rid of Hangouts. They were replacing it with chat, which in my opinion is a much more powerful, friendlier version of Hangouts. It's still pretty simple. You can have a freestanding application on any device you want, and it also has an extension to work with Google Chrome. On the iPhone, I can only have one chat account at a time, which means if I want to access more than one chat account, more than one email account, I have to sign out and sign back in, which doesn't make for good productivity when I'm on the go and I have multiple employees from different companies, different branches, all sending me messages about different things. Now, when I go over to my Android phone, I get multiple notifications, multiple accounts, all operating at the exact same time. That is absolutely invaluable to me. Having the S Pen, being able to write on documents on the go, download it, write on it, save it, reattach it to the exact email it came from is absolutely amazing. But with the iPhone, I've got to download it, I've got to get a third party application, I've got to sign it, I've got to try to save it somewhere. And then if I'm operating inside of Gmail, which I just told you I'm using Gmail, suite I gotta somehow upload that to Google Drive and then I can attach it from inside my email but only if it's in Google Drive I can't attach a document that's on my iPhone unless it's like a picture through my Gmail 
And I'm like, how is that productive? How is that? Is that a Gmail thing or is that an iPhone thing? I don't know. But whatever the thing is, it's preventing me from being productive. That's one of the reasons I enjoy. And I don't think I'm going to go back to Apple for business for a long time unless these things change and apple does something to pull me away from android for business use i'm sticking with the iphone for my personal use the iphone is fun it works easy it's simple all my friends and family have the iphone i can now facetime everyone instead i was always making everyone download google duo if they wanted to facetime me but now I can just FaceTime people. We've got the iMessage integration. We've got the fun little iMessage expressions inside and all that other stuff. So I'm thinking to myself, it seems that I've had it wrong the whole time. I've been using iPhone for business because, well, because I was wrong. Because I never stopped to look at the big picture. And this is the genius behind Apple. Because I know I'm not the only person who thinks like this. I thought to myself, I don't want to confuse my customers, my clients, and make them think that I don't exist anymore. If they go to send me a text message and it doesn't go through because I'm no longer on Apple. Because I no longer have iMessage. And I got worried about that. And I actually thought, I'm going to lose money if I switch from Apple. That's just not the case. I haven't lost any business. No clients have sent me a message and said, oh, you're not on iMessage. We can't do, we can't work together. No one said that yet. So now that I've kind of gone through this whole process and I've made the switch and I've taken and embraced the full integration of the Google products, which I'm already using with my business, with my business phone now, my life is so much easier. I absolutely love it. But... There's one regret, and I will share this with you right now. If I have a giant file or a large video file, a huge data file over two gigs, I have yet to find out a quick and efficient way to get that data off of my Android phone onto my MacBook Pro. Because let's face it, my whole business is ran on Mac. I'm not just going to switch it because I want to use a different phone. I have to adapt. Using Android file transfer has been a bit of a disaster. What I've discovered, the only efficient way that I can move data, move a file from my Android phone to my MacBook is I have to upload it to the cloud somewhere, whether that's Dropbox, whether that's Photo Backup, whether that's Google Drive. The only other option I have is physically taking out my SIM card ejector tool, popping out my memory card from my Note 10 Plus. I gotta make sure the file's on the memory card to begin with, and then I have to use one of the adapters to put it into my MacBook if I want to actually get that data out. Now, I will let you know, I tried to do this, and I tried to use this as an external, but the problem was I still couldn't move the data from the Android phone to this, to the MacBook, because the formatting was different. So I'm like, what the heck? So the only thing that I actually found would work is you have to take your SD card that is inside your phone, and you have to put it in the adapter, and then you got to put it back into your computer. And that's the only thing that I actually found. A little bit of a hassle, and that's like, that's where airdrop comes in, right? That's where having the fluidity, the connectivity, the seamless Apple love integration comes in. Those are the little things that kept me the other way around with business iPhone Android personal for so many years. But I'm willing to take the plunge and see how it works. I'm willing to commit for the rest of this year to use an Android phone for my business use and the iPhone for my personal. Now, right now, that Android phone is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Coming up here pretty soon, it's probably going to turn into the Pixel 4 XL or whatever they're going to end up calling it because I want to see what that's going to look and feel like as well. With all that being said, I might be wrong. I might be right. But I wanted to share with you guys that first, I feel like I've been doing it wrong. And two, I think I found a better way of doing it. Head down to the comment section. Let me know your experience. Do you prefer 
Android for a business or do you prefer iPhone for a business? If you don't have a business and you're just a personal user, do you prefer Android or do you prefer Apple? Tell me which operating system, which phone, which device you prefer over the other. Let's have a discussion. Let's talk about this. And for the love of tech, don't go anywhere. Don't. I know you thought that we were over, but we're not. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated the video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you really love the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to pay me the ultimate compliment, Please share my content with your friends and family on social media. Till next time, namaste.